Oh, man. I am a horrible person. I am so addicted to the whole roll and write craze that's going on right now. And I've been playing the new game from uh, Wolfgang Worsch. It's not even out in America yet. Like, don't even ask me how I got it. But I got my hands on it. It's called Bricks. It's basically Tetris the roll and write game. And Dang. oh man, it's so good. It it literally feels like Tetris. I am equally as horrible at this game as I am in real life Tetris. So <laughs> <laughs> all of the challenges of of picking your pieces. But basically what happens is every player gets uh, a board with uh it's like a grid board and it's actually if you look this up on board game geek and you can see the sheets it looks like an arcade cabinet and it's just the coolest little roll and write sheet um anyway you have another sheet that's uh the back of the sheet with the arcade cabinet on it and that has all of the little tetris pieces and different positions um there's four columns and they all have different colors and what you're doing is you're rolling a d4 and then another die that has uh colors on it and whatever the combination is that's the piece that you have to place in the tetris grid mm -hmm. and man i i I like can't even tell you how much stress and yelling there is while this game is going <laughs> on. Because <laughs> you you look at the person, you're like, why did you roll that? I don't even need that piece. And meanwhile, it fits perfectly on their board and they're just laughing at you. Or maybe it's just my friends who laugh at me <laughs> when they get <laughs> the pieces I need. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I hope it comes to America soon. I heard uh, Stronghold Games picked it up. So Ooh. I'm oh, sweet. keeping my fingers crossed that that will be over here uh, sometime early next year. Uh, what's it called again? Bricks. B R I K K S. Oh, that's oh, why. Because I just okay. looked for bricks, and one game I got was called Sackle Bricks, and I don't think that was it. <laughs> no. no, that's definitely not okay. it. All right, all right. Th that's good to know. Yeah, that sounds exciting. I think I really need to start getting into these these roll and writes because they are all over the place now. And I think the only one I have is Age. Oh, crap. What's that one about ancient times and you roll dice and it's like wheat? Hold on, it's in my closet. It's... Oh, I know what it is. It's oh, here he goes. Roll through the ages. Hold on. Roll through the ages. Yeah. But like the the first one, there was the Iron Age. I don't have that one, but that one I actually super enjoy. But I I I'm sure there are better ones at this point because that's an older game at this. I point. I love that one. I actually just played that like two weeks ago, so it's not that old. It's still really it's, good. It's great. I love it, and yeah. I think. I'm sure I have others. If I think about a, a roll and write, uh, I do know. you have uh, Saint Malo? Is my oldest roll and write game. And I've never even one. heard of that one. Oh man, it's so good. I call it my bedroom game because literally you use the box to roll the dice in it, and the game comes with whiteboards and dry erase markers. So like right oh, out of the box, cool. it's like all set to go, and like you have the city that you're drawing and you're you have to like fight off pirates like it's really exciting and you can usually get it on Amazon super cheap like it's out of print for everyone else no one else can get it but apparently Amazon has a secret st stack of them <laughs> somewhere so in their weird. warehouse <laughs> Roll, Roland Rice this year I think Deepwater Games with Welcome to was like that hot Roland Rice that now it's oh. like I feel I feel like it's just been a really up and coming mechanism in games we've been seeing recently. Uh, Welcome to Dino World. I know recently hit Kickstarter, which is supposed to be a good roll and write too. I so. have Welcome to Dino World. They were doing. You, uh... <laughs> you I have everything. So you are the roll and write queen over here. Wow. Yeah. They were doing uh, play test samples on Facebook. They were asking for play testers, and I volunteered my time. And that's uh, funny. I got that's a free awesome. <laughs> copy. Basically, I printed out a copy, I laminated it, and now I have a copy. But please support on Kickstarter. <laughs> Don't <Absolutely>. be okay. <laughs> well, dude, laminators are like the unsung heroes of the board game oh. community, I think. Man. Man, if Would you, okay, I was about to do this. I mean, uh, so uh, early on in my board game career, I was getting made of made fun of for sleeving my cards because most people I played with were not board gamers. I would force board games onto all my friends, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I'd have these sleeves over my cards, and then they would make fun of me, understandably, because that's kind of weird if, from their perspective. But then I was talking about uh, laminating like the sh the player sheets in Twilight Imperium or something like that, and then they they wouldn't stop making fun of me and I cried a little bit. So 
I'm just kidding. Yeah. I didn't cry, guys. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Took, I was I was dead serious. I have I have no, no idea. <laughs> the only time I've cried lately is that there was a Scrubs episode that I watched, and there's an Adam Sandler special on Netflix right now. We talked that about also that. made me cry. Oh, we already talked about yeah, that. We yeah, we talked well, about that. Yeah, probably yeah, a crying so. episode. I'm a man, dang it. I have no emotion. Anyway, that sounds fun. I'm excited to play that. I, I do want to get more into these. Uh, well, Welcome to is fun. You've played that one, right, Ryan? I think we talked about that at one point. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's where basically yeah. you're flipping over cards, and then on your kind of mat, you have these different uh, houses arranged like a neighborhood, and you name your neighborhood, and you kind of um, like highlight pools and put up fences and put numbers on houses yeah Yeah. and then you score based off of that it's like one to 99 players it says it can do so that was that was huge at origins this year that game was like sold out like it was a very sneaky hit i hadn't heard about it everyone's like get welcome to and then all of a sudden now they have a second kickstarter doing really well yeah, that's cool. that that game is so fantastic i pre-ordered that game and picked it up at origin i that was yeah. i was on the ball for that one wow but i even i went up to the designer and i told him i love your game but it wasn't portable enough for me so i actually replaced the cards with dice because i have no life <laughs> nice i literally took like a d6 and then i drew little pictures of all of the symbols on the cards on these on these dice and that's how i play welcome to oh that's so smart (laughs) sell that idea immediately (laughs) they were like that's really creative but we can control the variables better with the cards and i'm like Whatever. Sure, fair. Whatever. This mm-hmm. is this mm-hmm. is hard mode. I only mm-hmm. play in expert mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's just when it's them wanting to sound like designers, like they know what they're doing. <laughs> we have to control the variables. Oh. Just kidding. I'm sure they're great. Sweet. So that's that's cool. Bricks by Wolfgang Warsh, not yet released in U.S. of A. No. But apparently by Stronghold Games soon. Soon, in theory. Hopefully. That's 